Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to take a look at the most interesting keyboard accessory that I've seen in a very long time. 3D Keycap reached out to me to take a look at their latest creation. These are ergonomic keycap tilters, designed to be compatible with your MX switches. Adjusting the typing angle of each individual row, I wanted to see for myself if these were just a gimmick or if they actually provided any real benefits. I'll leave all relevant links including their website and Kickstarter page in the description. At the time of posting this video, the project is already fully funded and will conclude on August 28th. Because it's an all or nothing campaign, it's a great sign that they've already met their funding goal with time to spare. Full disclosure, they did send me these tilters for free for this review, but as always, all opinions will be my own. The tilters come in three distinct sizes to achieve the desired wavy ergonomic shape. Depending on your keyboard layout, you'll assign a specific size and orientation to each row. On the Kickstarter page, there's a few different kits for different prices. As far as I can tell, the only difference between them is how many of the three styles of tilters are provided. The tilters are resin 3D printed with very high quality, and these are version 3 of this concept, so they've taken the time to better refine the shape and production process. Installing them on a keyboard is more or less the same process as installing keycaps normally. The keyboard I decided to try these on was the Mode Envoy. Coincidentally, the Envoy uses a unique 3D printed mounting style which fits the theme of the video. One thing I did want to bring attention to was that the tiny circle ones that are just used for spacing were difficult at first to install, but using a pair of tweezers to push them down made the process easier. Also remember to install them on your stabilizers as well as your switches. When I first started typing with these, I was instantly surprised by how enjoyable they actually are. Typing with them feels comfortable and natural. If I were to describe the experience, it's like typing regularly except your fingertips touch the keycaps slightly faster. Your fingers aren't curling or moving as much, which reduces the strain on your finger joints. The angle also makes it feel like you're using more surface area of the keycaps. And because of all of those reasons, technically the tilters could improve your typing speed slightly. Personally, this product shines the most for me whenever I'm using home row typing. The ergonomic position of the keys was enjoyable for me in a way that I didn't expect. That being said, if you're not using a home row position on your keyboard, it can get more complicated. Gaming is certainly doable, but your mileage may vary. League is a game where your primary inputs are QWER, which is one above the home row. Resting your fingers there for an entire game is awkward and uncomfortable, and I couldn't settle on the exact angle I wanted my fingers to be at. I certainly think it isn't the end of the world, but if given the choice, I would use a standard board to play this game. And the same thing goes for Tetris, where the primary controls are the arrow keys located on the bottom two rows. This is even more clunky because the rows are angled outwards away from each other. This has the opposite of an ergonomic effect because you now have to go out of your way to reach extra far than normal. A more commonplace area where you'll run into the same issue is when using your Ctrl X, C, and V shortcuts to cut, copy, and paste. The new shape just makes reaching these key combinations slightly more annoying. Because you can install the tilters in whatever orientation you want, I would suggest taking the time and experimenting with a layout and orientation that works best for your needs. Games that use a WASD layout fare much better. Because you're primarily resting your fingers in the middle row, you get all the ergonomic benefits back. If you're someone who's looking for an ergonomic typing experience and you happen to game casually on the side, then I don't think that the tilters are going to disturb you that much. I definitely wouldn't recommend them if you're playing any online competitive games. On their Kickstarter page, they even mention there's a risk of cracking the stems if you mash too hard. These tilters aren't meant for gaming, but if you do, I recommend it's best for casual titles that aren't going to make you apply too much stress on your keys. That being said, obviously the intended use is for typing in a home row position. If you type a lot as a student or in the office and want a cost-effective way to improve your ergonomics, these tilters can be used to upgrade the keyboard that you already own. When used as intended, they provide a satisfying ergonomic feel that's comfortable for typing on every day. As a reminder, all relevant links are in the description. If you enjoyed this short review, remember to subscribe to help support the channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.